So you have Trade Navigator downloaded. You're ready to begin trading. Where do you start? How do you get indicators onto the chart window? That's what we're going to take a look at in this lesson. How to add items to the chart. And we have a lot of different ways to do that in the program, but if you are a keyboard user or a mouse user, you'll find that either one of these will be sufficient enough for you and very quick. To add an item to the chart, we can press the letter A on the keyboard, which will bring up the Add to Chart feature. This can also be done by clicking on the icon on the top toolbar add study or indicator blue icon or maybe green takes us to the same spot we can also go through the edit chart settings to add items to the chart window we'll end up nevertheless always coming back to the add to chart window so nevertheless no matter how you get there hotkey keyboard or the edit chart settings um, you should be able to get there pretty quickly so Let's talk about what we can add to the chart window. By pressing the letter A on the keyboard, we bring up Add to Chart. And the first tab that we'll see, which will be the default tab, uh, will be the Studies tab. And you can select between Studies, Indicators, Highlight Bars, and Strategies. So commonly, you're going to be adding an indicator. And in most cases, you want to try to first see if we have the study for the indicator. For example, stochastics, MACDs, RSIs. Uh, these are all popular indicators that if you take advantage of the study, will apply all of the pieces of that indicator at once, such as the Bollinger Bands. Take a look here if I apply a study of the MACD. So it'll be a lot more convenient if you check to see if we have the study first. If you find that we don't have the indicator listed under study, let's take a look under the indicator tab. Now, not only do you have the ability to choose a custom indicator, build your own code, but then you can select from many of the thousands of indicators that we might have available in your trade navigator. Here's a little trick, though. If we're looking for, let's say, a simple moving average, click inside of the space here and begin typing moving average. It'll start looking for that particular indicator and highlighting the letters that you're typing once it begins to find it. Now that we found the simple moving average, we know it's simple because of the description down here, we'll click the Add button. Now here's an example of an indicator that's being applied to the chart window within its own pane window. If I want that indicator to be overlaid on the price bars, check out that video uh, in the next training lesson. So let's do this one more time, pressing the letter A on the keyboard. It's going to bring up the Add to Chart. Let's take a look at adding a highlight bar. And a highlight bar is simply a condition that is highlighted on the chart window. So to add multiple items that are highlight or highlight bars, or to add multiple highlight bars, go ahead and select or hold down the control key or shift key on your keyboard, select the items from the highlight bar list, and click add. So that's how you're going to set up your chart windows to add or create your favorite chart appearance. Press the letter A on your keyboard or by using the icons on the top toolbar. Go ahead, now create your chart windows.